Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Idioms 573. The idiom today is to live in a bubble, and we got three meanings and three uses. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. If someone lives in a bubble, he or she lives his or her life completely absorbed uh, or insulated in his or her reality or life experience. Okay, number two. Uh, to remain physically or socially isolated or separated from a threat. So you actually are kind of almost forced to, to live alone due to some threat. Number three, to ignore or deny reality. Okay, so oh, let's continue here. There doesn't seem to be a clear origin of living in a bubble. One of the most possible cases of this phrase coming about may be related to several cases of boys that literally had to live their lives in a bubble. Uh, one of the earliest and most famous cases was that of David Vedder, who was born with immunodeficiency, or SCID, in 1971. He literally had to live in a plastic bubble to protect him from any germs, because he caught any slight germ, his, in, his immune system was too weak. He would die very quickly. So they literally had to ha have him living almost his whole life in a bubble. The public started to become more aware due to a 1976 movie called The Boy in the Plastic Bubble. And I think it was soon after this that all of these meanings of live in a bubble started to come about. So it may be it, but it could be something else too that, that caused this phrase to come about. Anyway, we got five examples to show just how it's used. Here's the first one. Many voters say too many politicians live in a bubble in their own world of DC and the Capitol and are not really in touch with the everyday voters, you know, because they're just living in their own political world and they just talk about their stuff and they don't really get to interact with, you know, everyday people. Number two. He just lives in a bubble of his video game world. He plays more than 10 hours a day, so he has very little time interacting with other people. He's just living in his video game world. Number three, during the coronavirus lockdowns, many people complained that they felt like they were forced to live in a bubble, isolated from most others. Yeah, so this is the one where you're kind of isolated and separated, you know. If, uh, if, if you were positive with coronavirus, you probably really felt that. But even some others, maybe if they lived alone and they couldn't go to work anymore and they couldn't really interact very much with people for a long while, they kind of felt like they were living in a bubble. So we use it that way too. Number four, you cannot deny the reality of the situation and continue to go on living in your own private bubble. We may hear it this way. Well, the last one, the mainstream media continues to ignore the amount of deaths and injuries that, uh, that is clearly caused by this. They choose to live in their own bubble and not really investigate this. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.